everybody, this is Pauline from the Clarinet Cork store and clarinets for sale. And I want to show you how to first of all remove a tenon cork and replace it with a new piece of our easy peel stick cork. So as you see I've removed the cork with the screwdriver and the tenon still has some residue on it. So what I'm going to do is actually sand the tenon down until it's nice and clean. Okay, there we go. Please excuse me if our video is a little bit slower than normal. We will be making a new video in the future. And as you see, it's quite straightforward at the moment. Okay. Dust off any residue from the cork, the previous cork. It's amazing the difference even when you clean up the tenon. It looks so much better. Next we get the strip of cork out and we're actually going to wind it around and measure it. So I fold it back and take the scissors from the kit Cut a nice flat straight edge. Okay, now this is the beauty of the cork. You can just peel off that backing, it saves hours and hours of gluing with the old type of cork. You can place the cork on the tenon, and that's it. And sometimes it's a good idea to glue the ends down too. But you got it. That is a terrific cork replacement. If the end isn't perfect, sand it down just a little bit. Okay, now this is the end of the first part of the video. Next, I'm going to take a couple of keys off and I'm going to show you how to replace a pad. So again, please be patient. All right, here's our lighter, it's in the kit. If you look at the bottom of the screen also, there are some highlights there to follow. And what I'm doing now is heating the key cup and it melts the glue and I can remove the pad easily. Don't burn your fingers on the key cup. Be careful. All right. And I have a glue disc there that I am using, but actually in your kit, you will use two or three of the glue pellets that are already in the kit. I can't get the flat glue pads anymore. And now I'm going to heat up the key cup. Hi, so we melted the glue and we 
put in new glue and replace the pad. Okay, next step. We actually pierce the side of the pad with a pin and then after we've put the key back on we take our pad level which is the wooden stick actually in your case and we put water under the key and then we go ahead and we take one of our tie downs, wrap it around the key and we're going to get a nice snug fit on the tone hole. So that's our aim. Now if we don't get a nice snug fit the first time we can remelt the glue. Uh, so, you know, there's uh, definitely a lot of easy ways to repair your own instrument. Now here I'm working on the A key on the side of the instrument. And I'm removing it and I'm going to also remove the pin that's in there. And there's actually a spring on that side key too. Be careful because sometimes it's very springy. It'll just spring off. And also be careful with the springs too, you don't want to break it. Okay, that's a very, very old brown pad, ancient, <laughs> probably about 50 years old. And we're going to heat the key cup to remove that old fang out of there. And I'm using a different type of a lighter in this part of the video. You have a nice lighter um, in your kit, which you can use. So. Go ahead and heat up the cup. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Please don't do that. And in there, in that particular cup, there's quite a lot of residue of glue. So you can scrape it with basically anything with a flat edge. And then you can sand out any of the glue that remains in there. Over time some of this glue goes really brown. So it's nothing other than aged old glue. Old worn out glue. Okay. So there are old famous glue discs which unfortunately we can't get anymore but actually the pellets are terrific so place a couple of pellets in there sometimes you need only one pellet sometimes two three if you have to build up um, the key over the tone hole but let's say we're using two in there and you'll melt it All right, here we go, we're going to place in the pad. If it doesn't go in the first time, I don't think this one did. I think I had to get a, a smaller one. What you can do is reheat the glue, remove it and put in another pad. It's rather painless, so nothing to worry about. I'm supposed to use the pad level and not my fingers. Don't burn yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.